calling PT-109. PT-109. I don't know why, I just like saying that. So this video is addressing the younger men out there. If there's any listening, that is. They're probably all down the gym, you know. Yeah, I know, you younger guys all go down the gym and you have your hair just right and your beard's all sort of designered up. And you kind of look the part as a man from the distance, say. But if somebody comes up behind you and goes, Boo! You'd stick to the ceiling, wouldn't you? You're very much into what you look like and not who you are. And of course that's not your fault. You didn't have your father, probably, to show you the way. You probably had your mother, the Femon, showing you the Femon way. And that isn't your way at all. And hopefully you men out there feel it's not natural, don't you? I mean, you must feel something just isn't right. You see, guys, femons have always been superficial, all about show and tell. But generally men are all about something a lot deeper than that. Who they are. Their character. And men generally weren't interested in who's dating who. But of course... Femons are interested in all that superficial's garbage. Oh yes, and it's all garbage. Trust me. If you younger men out there see an older man, try and befriend him and kind of ask him a few things. Generally, he won't lie to you. He has no reason to lie to you. But a Femon does. He'll probably tell you the straight truth. Because you won't like it. But it sure would do you good. You know, a lot of times I see these younger men who have gone to the gym and they sort of got their designer beards and I can see they just don't feel quite right. And they do actually give off the masculinity of a man. And I do believe there's hope for these men. But I have seen the other men too, the ones with the designer beards as well. But you can tell there's something very feminized about this man. And he actually belongs where he is. And I know there's been a pandemic of actually no fathers being around. Because the government made it more advantageous and more money for the man to be kicked out. And of course, if Femons loved, that wouldn't make any difference. But they don't. They just go where the money is. And I believe that these men are just like sort of puppies. If you get them at a certain age, you can turn them around. But if they get too old, it's too late. And maybe some older men out there can remember that they never really loved their father for some reason. But they sure as hell respected him. And that is what's missing nowadays, and that is respect. And in many ways, respect is far better than love. It lasts longer, and it sure as hell ain't so fickle. And so why are all the femons trying to demasculinize you men out there? Well, for one thing, it makes you a lot easier to control. And of course, the femons are very scared of your potential, which is far greater than theirs. Be proud of being a man and the inventor and builder of mostly everything you see before you. You are the chosen one. Oh, oh, oh that's a nice touch.